My life's a mess. I got drunk at a party. I had a one night stand with this guy. He seemed sweet at the time, but now I really regret it. I can't even remember his name. I've missed my period. Does that mean I'm pregnant? How do I know? What will everyone say? What about my exams and stuff? I don't know if I could cope with a baby. I can't go to Central Youth because I'll be judged by everyone there. And what if they tell my parents? They'd probably chuck me out. Stacey doesn't want to go because she thinks she'll be seen or being judged. She also thinks that we may pass on information without her permission. We offer a confidential service at Central Youth and even if you are under 16 we won't pass on information without your permission. The only time we have to do that is if we believe you or somebody else is at risk of serious harm but we will always try and discuss this with you before we do it. Everyone talks about sex in school. They all go out drinking, smoking and messing around. I feel pressure to join in, but I don't want to. They take the mick and I'm worried they'll think I'm a wimp if I don't. Most of my mates have girlfriends and always talk about sex. I know what sex is, but there's just a few questions about it I need to find out. I can't ask mum and dad, because that's just weird. And there's no way I'm asking my mates, because I'll just get bullied. I just need to know some stuff, but I'm too embarrassed. I can't go to Central Youth. It's all about free condoms and stuff. I don't want to have sex. I haven't had sex. I just need to talk. I don't know what to do. Although Central Youth is based around sexual health, we do offer advice and information on other issues, with also the availability of counselling services. Me and my boyfriend had sex last night. I know we're on the rage and stuff, but it just happened. We didn't use a condom. He said it would be okay. But what if I'm pregnant? What if I get AIDS? I've heard of loads of infections you can get, and I well don't want one. I feel like I should get checked out. But there's nothing I can do now. It's too late. I can't go central youth, because it's happened now. I don't need to let on how stupid I've been. I know it's myself. It's not too late to come to Central Youth after you've had sex. If you want to get emergency contraception or pregnancy tests, the nurses are here to help during the drop-in. You have up to 72 hours to come for emergency contraception and even after that there may be options. Me and Lewis have been going out for ages. We're in love and I think we're ready to have sex. We know we need contraception, but I don't want to go to the shop to get it. Well, it's embarrassing. We know we can get free stuff from Central Youth, but I don't know where it is or when it's open. Maybe we should just go ahead without it. The nurses and youth workers would always advise young people to practice safe sex. If you need any further advice and information regards this, you can come to Central Youth at number one, St. Peter's Square, Stockport, next door to Home Choice. Our opening times are Monday, 12 till five, Tuesday, one till five, Wednesday, one till seven, Thursday, one till seven, Friday, 12 till 4, Saturday 10 till 12. So please call in and see us. You're more than welcome. I've been going out with Tony for a few weeks now. He's 17. Recently, he's been pressuring me into sex. He 
texts me all the time and he's really pushy. I don't feel ready. I'm only 14, but I think I love him. I don't want to upset him or make him go off me. He says if I loved him, I would do what he wants. Maybe he's right. I don't know what to do. I need to talk to someone, but we're going out secretly, so there's nobody I can tell. I can't go to Central Youth. I'll be seen, and someone might tell my parents. You can come in and have a chat with the friendly staff and you can do a drop in and have one to ones, confidential one to ones with staff. You can also book in at other times to speak with the doctors or the nurse.